Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna do um, a video of um, flip through and a review on the Archangel Animal by, uh, Oracle Cards by Diana Cooper and these are 44 card deck and it includes a guidebook. Now the artwork is by Marjolaine Cruge. Um, this retails for $18.99. It's published by Hay House. Alright, so it says here at the back, Archangels work with and direct animals, birds, reptiles, and insects, enabling the natural worlds to offer you guidance as well as hope and inspiration. All creatures appear at exactly the right time to teach you what you need to learn. A deck contains 44 beautiful cards, each depicting an animal, bird, or insect, and the archangel associated with them. These oracle cards and the accompanying guidebook will help you to understand the animal kingdom and interpret its messages. Right, let's open the box. And it says here, open your heart to the archangels and animals and be inspired by their love and guidance. So, let's get the guidebook. Oops, sorry. I, I wrote my name there. So, um let's see how the guidebook looks like okay so the guidebook my feet just got numb for a second <clears throat> all right so it has here the cover page um copyrighted on 2000 last year 2018 We have here the table of contents. Then these are the cards about the artist and about the author. So we have introduction. Now we have how to use the oracle. And we have spreads. So one card spread. We have a three card spread. Seven card spread. And then dives directly to the inter interpretations of the card. So we have Ant. Hey. What is this? Metatron cube. Hmm. I did not know about that. I haven't really gone through this one yet. Like, I haven't really read through everything or entirely the whole guidebook. Just some of it, but okay. So, for each um, for each card in the guidebook, you have a uh, picture of the. You have here an image of <clears throat> the the card. It's in black and white. It's fine with me. Then we have here the title of the card or the animal, and um, we have here the uh, the affirmation and the associated archangel with it. So. Like hyena, for example, dare to be different. Then it says here about hyenas, about the animal. Then um, it has an explanation as well about the archangel, how it works with the animal, and then we have here the guidance or the meaning of the cards, right? So, or interpretation of the cards. So that goes until the last one and then after the cards will be about the artist and then about the author and their social media accounts and then that's about it so i already said it's published by hey house <laughs> now let's go and proceed to um, let's proceed with the flip through. Okay. So, we have Ant. We have the Badger. The cardstock, you know, you already seen the back. It's a gorgeous purple with the stars, I think. And then... Oh, a shining symbol of I'm not really sure what symbol that is so 
you know what for um for the future i don't know tarot creators out there oracle creators out there maybe you can put one page of your guidebook what the back means i mean any symbolisms from the back of the cards mean right could help <laughs> really and then we have here the badger i'll just go with the flip through if you want to um take a look closer on each card you can just go ahead and flip, please feel free to hit your pause button so bat then we have bear we have the bee butterfly camel we have the cat then we have the cow the deer dog and we have the dolphin we have the donkey dove eagle elephant now the cardstock it's the usual you know um hay house oracle cards look like thick but not thin bendable they snap back now we have hedgehog the horse hey this is really nice image hyena kangaroo these are like positive affirmations so be patient and focused ladybird yama monkey owl oh this is gorgeous yeah it is panda oh <laughs> look at that we have the parrot you know guys i've been meaning to be on to be honest i've been meaning to sell this one but i'm as i'm going through each of the cards i'm having doubts <laughs> maintain okay maintain self-worth now next is the rabbit. Hey, I just noticed this one right now. The unicorn. Ooh. The rat. Raven. Rhinoceros. Shark. Sheep, snake, swan, tiger, whoa, really gorgeous drawing, and turtle, whale, and wolf all right so these are not gilded which is what i prefer and let's see how it shuffles they shuffle really really smooth and nice see that's one good thing about not gilded cards. They really shuffle great. And if I shuffle it like this, I can't shuffle them back. Alright, so let's try shuffling it from the front. See? 
very nice um let's try to do oops let me just fix my camera so let's try to do an overhand shuffling oops um they are sticking together because it's glossy now and they're still new the cards are new so the friction is still there now some are like uh, putting powder in between just to remove you know the stickiness or the friction but it's up to you if you want to do it I don't so what we usually do is <laughs> let's go ahead and read a card pick one card and base it or read from the guidebook to see how it goes we have the snake and it says live accordingly to your divine essence and we have the elemental kingdom all right so from the guidebook it says in here so snake right okay there we go so about snakes snakes come from many universes bringing their light and wisdom with them. They step down to Earth through Neptune where they collect the keys and codes from Atlantis and Lemuria. When they become physical, they curl on the ground and spread the inf this information so that anyone can access it. They are then closely connected to um, they are then closely connected to Hollow Earth and energetically bring up ancient knowledge and the records of the history of the planet snakes are messengers who bring warnings or remind you to look beyond the outer appearance of something or someone around you often they bear the good news that change or transformation is on its way they may herald an expansion or of consciousness which will inevitably revolutionize your life what's wrong with me all reptiles still carry the original divine blueprint or essence when or essence they received when they were created this offers them power and purity and is why sneak magic offers a powerful energetic protection if you call on it sincerely for the guidance you are asked to be very aware today because this snake card is bringing you a message that something is about to happen Ooh. are you ready to burst out of your skin and expand your life is it time to plan a holiday or move house is an opportunity going to be presented to you on the other hand, this card may be offering a warning. Can you trust the people around you? Look beyond the surface and listen to your gut instinct. Remember to call on sneak magic if you feel you need protection and know that this will keep you safe. Your guidance is to be ready for any eventuality. Tune into the wisdom of the universe that is available to you now. So, that's how it reads from the guidebook. And this is how the Archangel Animal... Oh, this is cute. Our angel animal card. Oracle cards. So, let me know, guys, if you have this um, deck and if you've already used it. And if ever you did, how was it? Um, did it resonate with you? Did it resonate with your readings with your friends, with yourself, or with your clients? Please tell me stories about. Um, how this deck worked or works with you oh that's my beagle <laughs> you can hear there <laughs> oh hey all right so um that's it for today guys if you like this video please go ahead and click the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and do so and don't forget again the, to click the bell button beside um after you subscribe don't forget to hit the notifications bell as well so that at least you won't miss um any videos that i will upload all right so this is it for now uh, until my next video guys bye